This is Dr. Lou Sella, sport and performance psychologist here. And we're going to talk about how you have to be internally focused when you coach the triple option offense. You do not want to be externally focused. This is one of the biggest things I have to do with my clients when they become new clients. And I have to break the habit of them focusing on the defense. They need to focus on the offense. So how you do that is you frame the alignments and assignments in such a way that they're focused purely upon themselves. So like when running the zone dive, the center guard and tackle are forming a wedge. It's not about how the defense lines. They just form a wedge. Now, if somebody is in their way as they form the wedge, they down block that player. But you're still focusing predominantly on the internal, which is the guard. Because that's your player. <laughs> the center of the tackle wedge with the guard. The backside guard blocks the spine in the center. I've got so many questions over the years about, well, what about if there's a zero technique and he slants this way or he slants that way? Who cares? His job is to block the spine in the center. See, when you make it an internal conflict, you change the environment and the perceptions of your players to where it doesn't matter what the defense does. The problem with too many coaches is they focus on the external. Well, we're going to see a 50 defense this week. Who cares? Just form the wedge and go. And get people to move with urgency and accuracy. I talked about that in an earlier video today. But you got to be internally focused. Backside tackle blocks the spine of the backside guard. Playside receiver steps with his inside foot and gets up the field. Because if he does that, he takes care of his problems. The A-back wedges with the tackle. Two-hand slams, whoever shows, nobody shows. He keeps climbing until there is. That's it. But you're predominantly focusing on internal. Make your offense an internal conflict. Same thing with landmarks. Quarterback takes the snap, jumps play side, points the ball. B-back, sprints for the ball, sprints for the tackle, sprints for the end zone. Quarterback accelerates to the perimeter. Backside, A-back runs the pitch. Keep everything internally focused. This might be the biggest thing I do with my clients when they become clients. I have to change the way they think. Because if I change the way they think, their, per their perceptions are going to change. And they're going to start having an elite performance mentality. And then it leads to their players becoming elite. So, focus on the internal. You know, I just talked to you about the zone dive, how to be internal. Because when you're internal, it doesn't matter about what's going on out there. You just do what you do, and you control the narrative. You become the alpha. You control the game. Focus on being internal. You want to learn how to do this the right way the first time, pick up the phone and give me a call. My number's on the thumbnail of this video. So is my website. Go to TripleOptionFootball.com and learn about how the academy works camp works and read all those success stories and testimonials that have come out of the camps and the academy and I will see you in the next video we'll talk soon